We're here at the 2017 Chicago Muskie Expo. I'm here with Steve Herbeck of Andy Myers Live. Steve, thanks for joining us today. We were talking, I said, hey, what's new? What's, what's coming out that's a little different? People who might have come up in the past or, or maybe something that's not offered at a lot of other Canadian lodges. And you were saying that you guys are open a little bit later than you have been in the past. Tell me about that. Well, you know, we always had a, uh, a very strong fall presence and following and yeah. trophy trophy hunt that we did it later than most people stay open right um, into October now you got to realize now this whole thing has gone on for almost 25 years now right, right. and it's seemingly that in the last six to eight years we're seemingly having a and how long this is going to last I don't know but it seems to be holding on where we have warmer falls almost every year okay could be global warming though it could be, it could be just a little blur. Who knows? Right. I'm not a scientist. All I know is what I see. Um, and so, you know, it, we previously concentrated on the first two weeks of October. We were usually always past turnover. We had a lot of the big fish moving up shallow, right. uh, following bait fish staging and stuff like that. We had tremendous, tremendous trophy hunts. It's one of the things Andy Myers Lodge is famous for, let's right. face it. Big fall trophy fish. So in the last, you know, six, seven years, you know, people, more of the people that have been around for a long time, kind of grandfathered in, they've always been pushing it later and later because we've had the opportunity to do that without, right. without ice on the lake and stuff like that. So two years ago now, we started uh, expanding it all the way through the end of October, and we're leaving the first week of November open to last minute uh, phone call type of stuff but we are booking in advance uh, for the last two weeks of October and the last three years it's those last two weeks of October have been you know nothing sort of short of amazing yeah. I mean you were there last year uh, I you know, think we that, were, that week we had almost in yeah. camp maybe a dozen fifty yeah and, yeah, and what was there was there was boats. there was four boats right um, you know we were popping big fish every day around big fish every day and that's what the, the true fall trophy fisherman is looking for, is that, is that, that fall movement of the fish up after the stage of bait fish. Now I understand that the camp has a fall trophy package. Tell me how that might be a little different than other packages people are used to maybe earlier in the year well, or other places. The trophy hunt, which starts the first part of October, goes all the way through October now. It's, uh, we're limited to only 18 uh, muskie anglers per week. It's a guided uh, American plan package. Uh, we're about the only ones out there really hitting it hard. So um, we got just our musky pro staff guides uh, out there. And this is a serious deal to us. We are all know that time is running short. We've all been chasing huge fish right. through the summer. We're trying to get this you know, finished off and, and get the biggest fish of the season. And so it's a really neat time with a lot of buzz with a lot of excitement going on amongst them who are there because uh, you just never know what's going to be right, happening at the end and, and, and at the end of the day who's going to have what story because invariably every day somebody's catching a big big fish right. so it's a really exciting time it's a time that's kind of gotten overlooked by a lot of yuppie anglers and let's get back to the real t fishing man you know right. let's get back to it we got too many people want to fish just in august yeah. july and august when it's nice well so, i mean like like you've said to me in the past if you come up that time you better be ready because be, be ready for anything now we were all dressed probably you know like late september last year we had real warm year but typically you better better be dressed for you know, uh, weather that's somewhere is between 25 and 35 in the morning right. and 35 and 50 during the day. You, you could have a snowstorm uh, one time during the week. It's been a while, but I've seen it happen. But that just makes it all the better. Yeah, it does. And it makes the pictures look you better. Got, you got to work for it. Yeah. All yeah. right. Well, hey, Steve, some good stuff. If you're looking for one big fish at the end of the year, you want to run to Canada, make sure to call Andy Myers Lodge.